came to America and um, I arrived in New York. It was a very unique experience coming from a small village. I arrived with a tourist visa and my tourist visa expired. So I started exploring different alternatives, trying to get my immigration status in place. So I started researching about, and I moved to Utah. So I work in Casal del Utah. It's a very small town. I work there for the mines. Then I moved to Beaver, Utah, working with the cement. There wasn't any organized soccer. As a Colombian, my passion is soccer. I cannot leave it away. I have to play. So I come back and I find me a soccer team here in Salt Lake. I was doing really good. I was a popular guy within the soccer culture. They offered me a job with the Utah Youth Association in a section where there is some kind of Latin influence. So I started working with the kids and I met my wife through soccer. Really? My wife was the team manager. Of course, cultural difference, religious difference, and she was member of the LDS Church, also known as the Mormons. Mm -hmm. So I know they don't drink coffee, but one of the first things I told my wife, can you please try not to take the coffee away from a Colombian? <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> she just looked the other way. <laughs> it's not that I drink coffee every day, and we've been married for 33 years. Where's your wife from? Salt Lake City. She's from Salt Lake City. We have a bicultural relation. In those days, people used to look at us different because in the 80s, it wasn't hardly any cultural diversity here. Yeah. We have a son. His name is Cruz Sebastian. I always want my son to play soccer like me. Somehow he became to be 6'5". <laughs> so he adopted basketball and graduated from the university with two bachelors, and we're proud of him. I like that. So that's how I and dad here in youth. Do you have any stories from working here at the hospital? I was working in the ER. It was my turn to go to the helipad, which is at the upper part of the hospital. Mm -hmm. Eight-year-old boy who got into a bicycle accident. I arrived to the helipad with my stretcher. Usually in a helicopter, there is a mom or dad. For some reason, nobody was with the boy. And this little boy happened to be Hispanic. So the boy looked at me. He go, Papi! <laughs> it really broke my heart. Yeah. He got hold of my hand, and he didn't let my hand go until we go down into the elevator. I was pushing the stretcher with one hand and holding his other hand. We got into the trauma room. So this boy hold my hand until his parents arrived. It was like almost an hour and a half. So all those memories made you appreciate the job. I like the human element. I cannot picture myself doing other jobs that, that doesn't have to do with people. Yeah.